Welcome back to PassFAExams.com YouTube channel. It has been quite a while since we uploaded a new video and we sincerely apologize for that. The recent changes to all of the knowledge tests implemented by the FAA have forced us to work overtime on updating our software and apps. This obviously allowed us very little time to work on any other project including new videos. One of these big changes was the complete overhaul of Figure 29, which has now actually become Figure 28 of the FA Private Pilot Knowledge Test, the VOR receivers figure and related questions. Keep in mind that the FA is continuously adding new questions to the knowledge test data banks and they're not releasing them to the public. Therefore, now more than ever, the best way to prepare for the test is by knowing the actual material inside and out rather than focusing on memorizing questions and answers. In any case, if you're having trouble with these new VOR questions, here is a video covering all of the latest known FA private pilot questions involving figure 28. For example, this new question says, refer to figure 28 and figure 20. The VOR is tuned to Elizabeth City VOR DME, Area 3 in Figure 20, and the aircraft is positioned over Showboro, a small town 3 nautical miles west of Currituck County Regional, ONX. Which VOR indication is correct? 5, 2, or 8. Using our method of interpreting VORs, we will start checking each of the three given VORs to see which one matches the position reported by the question. Let's start with VOR number 8. First, we look at the flag, which as you can see, points straight up. And because the needle is centered, the number we're looking for to fly directly to the station would be straight up from the middle of the instrument. In this case, that number is 030. This means that to head directly to Elizabeth City VOR, we would need to fly a heading of 030, a north-northeasterly heading. So now let's draw that north northeasterly heading of 030 towards the VOR on the chart and see if the town of Showboro is somewhere on that line. As you can see, it's quite evident that Showboro is nowhere close to that line, which means that VOR number 8 cannot be our correct VOR. Now let's do the same with VOR number 2. First we look at the flag, which as you can see, in this case, points straight down. And because the needle is again centered, the number we're looking for to fly directly to the station can be found straight down from the middle of the instrument. That number is 030 once again. So once more, to head directly to Elizabeth City VOR, we would need to fly a heading of 030. Again, let's draw that north northeasterly heading of 030 towards the VOR on the chart and check if the town of Showboro is somewhere on that line. As this line is the exact same as the one we drew for VOR number 8, it's obvious that Showboro is nowhere close to it, which means that VOR number 2 is also incorrect. Finally, let's take a look at VOR number 5. Since VOR number 8 and VOR number 2 were incorrect, VOR number 5 must obviously be the correct one, but we still want to make sure of this. Remember that each question on the test is worth approximately 1.7 points. A small stupid mistake could change a perfect score of 100 into a 98, or worse, a passing grade of 70 into a failing grade of 68. Moral of the story? Never miss a chance to double check your answers. So we look at the flag of your number 5 which points straight up. We look at the needle which is centered. So the number we're looking for, again to fly directly to the station, is found straight up from the middle of the instrument. In this case, that number is 210. This means that this time, to head directly to Elizabeth City VOR, we would need to fly a heading of 210, a south-southwesterly heading. Now let's draw that south-southwesterly heading of 210 towards the VOR on the chart and see if this time the town of Showboro is on that line. As you can see, Showboro is right smack on that line, which confirms that VOR number 5 is indeed our correct VOR. Another much easier question says, refer to figure 28, illustration 8. The VOR receiver has the indication shown. What is the aircraft position relative to the station? The answers are north, east, or south. To answer this one, all we need to do is First, look at the flag. 
it's pointing straight up. Then, look at the needle. Well, it's centered. This means that our heading to the station is exactly 030, north, northeast. If we need to fly north, northeast, 030 to reach the station, our position from the station is obviously the reciprocal, south, southwest, or 210. If we now look at the answers, we can see there is no south, southwest. But we're surely not east, and definitely not north. The only answer left is south. Finally, let's go over the toughest of the questions involving figure 28. This one says, refer to figure 28 and figure 24. The VOR is tuned to Boham Vortac, area 3 in figure 24, and the aircraft is positioned over the town of Sulphur Springs, area 5 in figure 24. Which VOR indication is correct, with the answers being 1, 8, or 7? Again, we will start by checking each of the three given VORs to see which one matches the position reported by the question. Let's start with VOR number 1. First, we look at the flag. As you can see, it points straight up. Second, we look at the needle, which is only slightly deflected towards the right, about two dots. This means that we are very close to the 210 bearing to the station. To be precise, we are on the 214 bearing to or 034 radial from the station. One dot deflection of the needle is 2 degrees, two dots is 4 degrees. And because the needle is to the right or west of the center, it points towards the west. So to center it, we would have to fly towards the west, placing us a little bit east of the radial 030. If you're getting lost, know that for the purpose of the test, there is no need to know your exact position. As long as you're able to determine whether you're north, south, east, or west of it, you will do just fine. Because of this, whenever the needle is within full deflection, you can pretend it is actually centered. Again, this is only for the test. So, if the needle was actually centered, our exact heading to the station would be 210, placing us on the 030 radial or north-northeast of the station. But, as we can see from the chart, the town of Sulphur Springs is located east-southeast of that station. If we draw the radial from Bonham Vortac to Sulphur Springs, that radial from would be approximately 120. Because VOR number 1 says that we are north-northeast of the station, it is eliminated as a possible answer. Now let's do the same with VOR number 8. First we look at the flag, which as you can see, again points straight up. And in this case the needle is actually centered. Therefore, the number we're looking for to fly directly to the station can be found straight up from the middle of the instrument. That number is 030, a north-northeast heading to go to the station, so a south-southwest position from it. Again, Sulphur Springs is located east-southeast of that station, not south-southwest. So VOR number 8 is also excluded as a possible answer, leaving only VOR number 7 as the correct one. But again, let's make sure of that. VR number 7 is a little different from the other two, as there is no flag. Is this even possible? Sure it is. Assuming the VOR station is working properly, this will happen in two different occasions. When you're crossing over the station, or when with the OBS you select a radial or bearing perpendicular to the radial bearing the aircraft is positioned on. For example, if your aircraft is on the 090 radio from the station and you twist the knob to 360, the flag would disappear. Why? Simple. The VR receiver is uncertain on the second direction to give you. It can only give you one direction, shown by the needle, in this case west, exactly 270 to fly to the station, or exactly 090 to fly away from it. In other words, with no to from flag, the flag itself becomes your CDI, your needle, and that is a centered needle. And again, with no flag, the CDI, the needle, takes the place of your flag, it becomes your flag. In this case, the flag points straight to the left, and with the needle being centered, our heading to the station is exactly 270. To keep it simple, whenever you do not see a flag, if you don't see the two from flag, all you need to do is look at the CDI. Look in which direction it points to, go straight from the center of the instrument to either left or right, wherever the needle is pointing, 
and that will become your direct heading to the station. If you want a more detailed explanation on the zone of ambiguity, feel free to check our video on the same topic, titled, exactly you guessed it, VR Zone of Ambiguity. And for commodity, we placed our VOR Zone of Ambiguity video link down in the description of this video. Now, if we apply this to our question, we now know that only the needle matters here. And if we follow it straight to the left, we can see that 300 West Northwest is our heading to the station, placing us east southeast of it. And to be precise, on the 120 radio from the station which is the exact location of Sulphur Springs from the Bohan Vortac, east southeast, right on the 120 radio. So, we have confirmed that VR number 7 is indeed our correct answer. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to visit PassFAExams.com. Now more than ever, if you want to be certain of passing any FA written test, it is essential to possess the knowledge of the subjects rather than to simply focus on question and answer memorization. Teaching all aviation topics in a simple and easy to understand manner is exactly what we do at Pilot Training Solutions. No matter what questions you encounter during the knowledge test, you will be able to easily answer correctly. You will know why answer A, B or C is the correct answer, and not that it simply is.